For early access to more videos like this, plus exclusive content, community discussions, and more, become a patron at patreon.com slash brucepointset. Now we have kids and their issues of identity. Who am I? Well, shoot. Uh, excuse me, Dave. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> if you were if you were half white <laughs> half black or half Italian and half Chinese and so forth in my generation growing up guess what you black you black <laughs> ain't no question about your identity you, you know that's what I'm saying yeah. and so now I you know the the kids are coming along and they well I have a choice I can be either white or black, right? No. If you look and bend, kids of color who are interracial have a huge set of issues. They don't want to be identified as being different from their suburban playmates who are white. Yeah. At the same time, they know they're black. They know that there's a history. They may not know the history. They know there is one. They know that the black celebrities and athletes, they're, they're points of pride. Mm -hmm. When Joe Lewis knocked Max Schmelly on his ass, I cheered as a four-year-old black kid in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. Understand what I'm saying? You, you have to understand the role that the father's group plays here. It's the role that groups like this could be playing all across this country outside of the enclaves. Or as my my Afro-Cuban bro brother says, outside the reservation. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to go on too long, but you understand the father's group is playing an absolutely foundational and seminal role in helping black and white kids understand something. And that is black identity, black culture built this damn country Everything that we have achieved in the arts, music, and so forth is more etiquette. out of our etiquette. Straight so up. we have to be ready to arm our kids for the onslaught of, uh, of this Eurocentric, power-focused culture. That's what we're up against. And we're about trying to do that in an honorable, authentic and uh, prideful way.